reporting it every night. The avalanche of gun violence that's now overtaking parts of New York City. Tonight, the human face to this gun insanity. A young man shot in Brooklyn last week while on his lunch break with his wife. Now, with a bullet in his spine, he might be paralyzed for life. I would assume reporter Diana Rocco talking to the victim and his family. She's live in the Cobble Hill section. Diana. And Bill, tonight the victim told us from his hospital bed that he still has no feeling from the waist down. What he remembers of that day last week is that he was walking with his wife and the next thing he knew, he was lying on the ground shot in the abdomen. Tonight he is looking at a life where he may never walk again, but says he is thankful to be alive and he even has compassion on whoever shot him. Seen here during happier times with his wife on their wedding day, 33 year old Sam Metcalf has a bullet lodged in his spine and is now looking at the possibility he may never walk again. Oh, I was on my lunch break. I was just taking a walk with my wife from the pharmacy. We got some toothpaste and it was raining outside, so. Holding an umbrella for her. Sam and his wife Sabrina were walking on the corner of Ocean and Woodruff Avenues in Brooklyn last Wednesday afternoon when a man pulled up in a BMW and started shooting. Seen here in this surveillance video, the intended target was an 18 year old who returned fire but was killed by a bullet to the chest. People shouldn't have to feel like they need to run around with a gun in order to make a living. A recent spike in shootings has left 73 more people dead this year than at the same time last year and nearly 450 more shooting incidents. Over the weekend, a mom of three was killed in the Bronx, one of five people killed in separate citywide shootings. Community activists blame bail reform laws that have failed hardworking people, returning violent offenders to the streets while being lenient on those caught carrying. How many individuals are out here right now? that are committing these crimes and going back in jail, getting tapped on the wrist and back out on our streets. It's not enough to keep saying that we have the toughest gun laws in the country when at the end of the day, those with the guns are not getting that memo. Meanwhile, from his Kings County hospital bed, Sam says his wife has kept him strong. His family has now started a GoFundMe page for his expenses. She's been here with me every moment, holding my hand when I was in pain. Mm -hmm. And she's been just absolutely stoic to this whole ordeal. And tonight, Sam and his wife are both holding out hope for a miracle. He says he has a great team of doctors who are by his side and helping him every step of the way. Meanwhile, police are now looking for an 18 year old man that they have not named in last week's shooting and that gray BMW. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers.